Asia and the Arab world, a vast population over a huge geographic area. I wonder how you imagine it. Hot, hopeless, hostile to the gospel? Are those some of the images that come to your mind? And yet, you know, in our privileged generation, we are seeing God building his church in places where it hasn't existed for centuries, from North Africa, through the Arab world, across into Central Asia and right across to Mongolia, we are seeing the Church of God springing up, bringing life and hope. And into some of those hardest places, God is bringing inter-serve workers, embedding their lives, living and sharing the Kingdom of God. InterServe is all about transformation, lives and communities being restored and renewed as they encounter Jesus Christ. North Africa, the Arab world, Central Asia, the Indian subcontinent, the Far East. Wherever we work, we do so in partnership, serving the global church and encouraging newer mission movements. And increasingly, our mission partners are coming from the non-Western world, from Korea, Malaysia, India, Brazil. Working alongside local Christians, our mission partners use their professional skills in medicine, development, theology, teaching or business to share the love of Christ with the people among whom they live. They act as salt and light in some of the hardest places in the world in obedience to Jesus' commission to go and make disciples of all nations. Our purpose is to make Jesus Christ known through holistic ministry, in partnership with the global church, amongst the neediest peoples of Asia and the Arab world. We are passionate about the gospel, fulfilling Christ's command to take the good news of the kingdom of God to all nations, to the places where he is least known. We are committed to discipleship, aiming to grow as disciples ourselves, and enabling others to do the same by building relationships and serving together. We long for transformation of lives, of communities, of oppressive and unjust structures by the power of the gospel. InterServe partners look for opportunities to serve in places and in roles where we can address the whole range of human needs, material, physical, emotional and spiritual. In Mongolia, many people outside the big cities suffer from poor eyesight and there are no opticians. InterServe partner Richard Young, working alongside local churches, has been doing eye tests and fitting glasses helping people to see again after years of blurred vision. InterServe partners like Richard want to reflect God in all we are and in all we do. We try to lead integrated lives, holding together word and action, professional skills and personal discipleship, all with the aim of building up Christ's church. Partnership defines our relationships with both sending and receiving churches. InterServe works in partnership with local churches who wanted to be part of God's mission. In Korea, we are sending professionals who are passionate about the whole gospel. We are also committed to cooperation with other mission organizations with shared vision and values in order to promote genuine unity and to avoid unnecessary duplication. In recent years, the growth of the global church has been very encouraging. And so we are constantly looking for effective partnerships in new mission-sending countries, countries such as Mongolia. They're very interested in looking at um, Buryatia, the Buryat people, uh, to reach out to them. We've actually got two partners placed there who will work with the Mongolian movement in reaching the Buryats. We serve in the hard places, amongst the neediest people of Asia and the Arab world. This includes ministry amongst the migrant communities from these countries. We give priority to the poor, to places where the good news of Jesus is least known, 
where spiritual and physical needs are the greatest and the church is small or oppressed. In India, InterServe partner Kath Jain's work with mothers and children led her to start a school for the poorest of the poor, which is already having an impact on the community. Some of the fathers drink and come and abuse women and children and through the work that the school is doing, the children have learned that alcohol is not good for the uh, families. So some of the uh, fathers have left their drinking habits. And when we used to come here first, there were a lot of people who sit around and uh, gamble in front on the roadside. And they used to call all kinds of names as we pass by. But today we don't see any of them sitting around and gambling. Instead, when we have some programs, they come and help us. So there is a change in the attitude of people here. God is stirring his people worldwide, a global mission movement of those who are making their work, their skills, their very lives available to him. Have you joined the movement? You can be part of that wherever you are. There is in every country those who have come from Asia and the Arab world today. You can be involved by reaching out in hospitality and care. You can work for justice and reconciliation. You could be involved through standing in the gap in intercessory prayer. You could be involved in that critical work of financing people and projects. And of course, you could be involved by making yourself available through short-term or long-term working in some of the hardest places where God is at work. Join in, be involved in what God is doing.